Welcome back. Now, last time, <laughs> you notice my blaze spawner is not spawning. You notice I've drained all the water out of it. And uh, remodeled just a tad and added some more wiring here. Well, uh, if you remember last time, I had just gotten this blaze spawner set up and I was so happy. And I turned it on and blazes came out of it and they fell in the water and they died. And they didn't drop anything. And they didn't drop anything, and they didn't drop anything. Let me patch this back up. That was a failed um, tubing experiment there. Anyway, um, I made a little murder hole over here, and I came in, and I poked on them with a the sword a little bit, and they died. And they would occasionally give me a rod. Well, uh, turns out there is a fundamental difference between soul shard based spawners and auto spawner based spawners. So, just to uh, kind of explain that, let's take a quick trip over to the Myranium server and my basement there, and I will see you there. Be right back. Okay, and let me adjust my headset here. Here we are on Myranium server, uh, Minecraft 1.4.7, in my mine slash farm slash whatever the hell hub. And here we have. My blaze spawner, soul shard based. Let me get a pick here. No, dude, I don't have any slime balls you can buy. And just head down here. Here are all the transposers. There are uh, pneumatic tubes that feed them. Let me just uh, abuse my admin powers here real quick. There we go. And throw that back on there. We'll just throw this switch. And almost immediately. Blazes will start just pouring out of this thing. I've already got uh, three stacks of blaze rods in here. So I'm gonna go and feed my critters real quick. And do I have any more wheat? I need to plant some more wheat. Jeez. Okay, well, I'll feed pigs. There we go. I'll feed piggies. And I promise I'm going to fix this up later. I'm going to give him a nice little mural. I'm going to put a nice little fake sun on there. Okay, are any of y'all ready to make babies? Really? Just you. Okay, well, you can have it then. Alright, we can wait on that then. These bees were a present from one of my buddies here on the server. They basically make XP. And sometimes copper. I still need to get a centrifuge and all that crap up, though. Some things are still on coal, because I just got this finished last night. But, as you can see, already... I had three stacks before. We're already... Whoa! Hey! What the hell? Okay. I obviously need to rejigger this, because somehow... All well, these assholes got out. Let me just turn it off. Anywho. I uh, noticed that they are piling up quite nicely and quite quickly. And I now use these to power pretty much everything down here. Eventually I'm going to have a proper power plant. That's... I can get, turn that off now. They're in my alloy furnace. They're eventually going to be in all of my furnaces. So there you go. That is how I did a blaze or a blaze spawner on the Myranium server. Now, um, the reason why the um, the what is it? The um, auto spawner. That's the <laughs> how do I words? The reason why that one did not work this way. It turns out that apparently soul shards do not actually create the same mob that you put in them. What it does is it creates a mob that looks like and behaves like... What is the coordinates for the Twilight Forest? Oh, honey. Uh, that looks like and behaves like the mob you put in it, but it is actually a whole different mob with a whole new entity ID. And its behavior is set such that it will drop its drops if it is killed by environmental whatevers, such as water. Whereas the Mine Factory Reloaded spawner... Um, it does not. It actually spits out what you put in it. So, 
a regular vanilla blaze, if it dies in water, will not drop its drops. And that is why this spawner worked and that one didn't. But that's okay, because we are getting ready to fix it. And I'm going to head right on back to the new world, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. So, what I'm going to have to do is make some sort of a contraption that will kill the blazes and harvest their drops. What sort of machine could I possibly build to do that? Oh, if only there was some sort of a machine, perhaps, say, in Mine Factory Reloaded, that could do such a thing. Let's go build us another grinder. Uh, let's see, just to refresh our memory here, grinder... Three plastic sheets, a book, a golden sword, a piston, and a machine, a factory machine block. Okay, so I need to go get some rubber. And I need to do some shit with that hopper there. Or that stack of hoppers I've got. Oh, Lord. Maybe I can melt them down. Yeah, no, they got a chest in them. I don't think that'll work. All right. Come here, rubber trees. Give me your rubber. And give me some sa no, I don't want to get that on my hot bar just yet. Give me some saplings. And more rubber, please. And more, please. And a little bit more, please. Let's see, how much do I have? 22 raw rubber. That, that, raw rubber. That should be plenty. Um, I'm just gonna just uh, keep throwing these rubber saplings around. There we go. All right, let's go and cook this up. Yeah, you see in my hot bar there the three lousy blaze rods I did manage to get by poking on blazes with my sword. Um, do I need copper? I think I need. I have some copper. Okay. Does one of these still have any in it? No, but that's okay. Let's cook that up. Oh, how are my boots doing? <laughs> my boots are almost full. Let's throw this coal in here that I found. Yeah, once I get start getting blaze rods, uh, it will be a lot easier to charge my nano suit. Because on the Myranium server, I literally used a setup exactly like this. One lousy coal generator and one MFE. And the blaze rods kept it fat and happy all the time. Okay, I was going to need gold for... Oh yeah, I need a gold sword. So, just break that down. Have I got any wood on me? I've got some rubber wood that I can sacrifice. I don't really need to build a compressor. I mean, um, an extractor. I have a compressor. Okay. Golden sword. I um, think I have some leather somewhere. I think maybe in the nether stuff chest. I need to put that ward away. I'll just get rid of that sulfur. Uh, put the rest of this gold away. Always use some more flints. Okay. Oh, look at that, they're almost charged. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and I happen to have some more coal laying around here. I have a bucket of lava. I can use that for now. There we go. Start smelting that up. Get some plastic. Get three more rubber and make some cable so I can wire this thing up. And 
we will be in good shape. Um, hmm, I wonder if I can put these hoppers anywhere. Oh, didn't I make some steel? I <laughs> had nothing to cook it with. Eh. Alright, that's cooking. Alright. Let's go ahead and make us some cables. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. That should be enough. Um, I was going to make another coal generator, too. Um, I can add that on later. No big. Okay. Was it? Yeah. Okay, that's enough for some. Uh, how do you make the machine blocks again? Smooth stone, okay. I'll throw a little bit of cobble in there in just a sec. Still got a blaze rod in. Good. A little bit more plastic. And that should be plenty. I'm going to just keep cooking that up though for now. All right, smooth stone. Should be able to... No. How about you? Yeah, I can get two smooth stone out of you. And um, I'm out of room. Uh, I will throw this sink away. There we go. And I will throw this blaze rod in the generator. And, oh, look at this, look at this. Almost. Alright, there's my smooth stone. <sighs> Factory machine blocks. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's empty, that's empty. Go ahead and take those flints do something with them. <laughs> Close enough. Hey! Nano boots! Yay! <coughs> and I will just put these in here. And just go ahead and put the next piece of the suit into the MFE for now. Boy. Um, let's throw some wood in there. Okay, the next thing I need is a book. And what else? A piston. I've got, I know I've got redstone upstairs. I know I've got wood upstairs. Fairly sure I've got some iron upstairs. If not, I think I have some ore. I do not have any ore on me, but I'm pretty sure I have some iron upstairs. Okay, there's a leather. Oh shit, I have plastic in there. Uh, no, I'm just going to take this with me. We're going to find somewhere to put it where I can see it. <laughs> Excuse me, sheep. My porch sheep. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, wouldn't be in there. Iron? I've got an iron. I think I have, yeah, I've got paper. Okay, good, good, good. I'm pretty sure I have some redstone in the brewing stuff. Let me put this nether ward in there. Alright, let's make a piston. Wood, wood, wood. Redstone. Iron. Where's my cobble? Okay, let's make a book. Oop. Okay, factory machine block. Uh, what went here? 
Nothing. Book. Sword. Piston. Plastic. Give me that grinder, thank you. And let's just put this leftover plastic away. Right there. I'll put these hoppers in here, and we will figure out something to do with them. These machine blocks. This plastic. Zombie meat. Can throw that away. I can get rid of these pipes. Don't need that many pipes. Okay, um, just throw this rubber in here. Okay, I think we've got it under control. Put the soul sand away. All right, here we go. I swear to God, if this does not work, I'm gonna cry. I'm going to literally curl up on the floor and cry. Ouch. Hello, poor sheep. Hello, Enderbro. Hello, other Enderbro. Yes, I hear you. Alright. Um, there we go. Mob grinder. Getting no power right now, obviously. Two, three. Okay. Oops. There we go. And I can just stick a generator on it right there. Should I'm just going to um, do a bad thing here. Oh, right. There we go. Now I'll get power. I hooked it up wrong. There we go. It's got power. Alright, I need some glass. Do I have some sand on me? I do. Uh, excuse you, and a bro. And I probably should have... Uh... <laughs> now I have a problem. Because now I'm going to have to cram the safari net in and run like hell. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and break this for now. I'm going to have this glass waiting in my hot bar. Have this, um, why do I only have there we go. Okay. <laughs> Where the hell? Okay, can I reach it from here? Yes, I can. <gasps> here we go. Alright. <gasps> there it goes. Eee! <laughs> I did it! Hey, we finally did it! Yay! Oh, sweet. Now it just has to get its ass over here. This, come here. Get over here. Get in range. There we go. Yeah, it has to get into that little... And what I probably should do is put another grinder over on that side. Because sooner, you know, it'll get them either way that way. But, yep, we're getting blaze rods! And I'm not sure if it's making essence. But I uh, actually ran a pipe. Yeah, it is It is spitting essence back into the tank. 
So yeah, we've got like an endless loop of essence here. <laughs> I'm getting blaze reds! Not quite as fast as the Soul Shard phase spawner. But I am getting blaze rods. It is working. Once I put on another grinder, it will go faster. But yeah. We did it, folks! We got a blaze spawner! It's working! I'm happy! Die, suckers. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna take these and go upstairs. It looks like it's gonna run just fine on its own. I'm gonna take these up. I'm gonna throw them in the um, in the uh, generator, and we're gonna get some suit charged up. Awesome! 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 So glad this has finally worked out. Oh my God! got quite a bit of charge out of that uh, little stack of wood there. Yeah, you see it's charging up real fast now. It hasn't even gone through the first rod all the way yet. Oh, this is great. Thanks for joining me, folks. Next time you see me, I will have a fully charged nano suit. And take care. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.